Well, according to this graph, you have a very obnoxious personality. I've been doing the research for a long time now. Why, you ask? Well, it's out of spite. Listen, no, I gotta... Yeah, no, no. I'm not gonna talk to you while you're like this. Bye. Hello, I'm your Kirk Douglas impersonator. Whoa. You're striking. I think we just found our man. Well, thank you very much. I got my brothers to punch me in the face. Well, your bone structure's held up pretty well. Well, so do I got the job? Well, <laughs> well, well, let's try your impersonation of Kirk Douglas after all. Uh, so tell me, uh, are you Spartacus? Or are you not Spartacus? <laughs> Come on, it's a simple question. I am Spartacus. I always thought that name was very adorable because it starts with a spart and ends in a kiss. But I digress. <laughs> well, you sound pretty good to me. As long as you look the part, you know, it doesn't really matter what you say, after all. Would I be expected to talk? Well, uh, yes, of course. What would I say, then? Well, you would say your most famous lines, uh, not counting the ones that were written by the Hollywood Eight, you know, those communists. Hmm, well, aren't those the best lines? Um, well, listen, I have to be a little more forthcoming when it comes to this position and this job, so... We're not necessarily looking in for a personator, per se. We're looking for more of a replacement. Do you actually think I can replace him? Well, of course. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I like to think of myself as a method actor. I like to go deep into the rules. <laughs> Don't you know that method actors are just impersonators? It's just a fancy word of saying it. I'm an actor. If you say so, listen. I'm not looking for perfection. Well, I'm above this. Okay, there's the door. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hold on a minute. <laughs> you passed the test. Congratulations, Kirk. I need to reveal some truths to you, and I'm a method actor, too. Oh, you old so-and-so, I know you're one of us. <laughs> and thus, I started my career as a method actor. Whoa, -ho. Well, hello there, young man. Mm. I got a couple questions. Mm. Well, why didn't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Smoking's bad! Eh. Hmm. Sorry about the bad first impression. I told the other scouts I don't want to be a James Dean look-alike. It's just awful. Well, the country's in mourning. We just lost James Dean and we need a replacement. And so you decided to go to prison to find me. Well, you found us, kid. Do you happen to realize how much you look like James Dean? I can tell by your look that you're shocked. I'm not shocked. You think you're the first person to come to me? No. As soon as your mugshot hit the papers, huh, everyone started hitting the pavement to get to you. I think acting's for losers who have no life. That may be true. Well, what's that supposed to mean? What do you mean by that? I know what it's like to be a loser. I was losing my whole life. No, not as big a loser as me. I'm leaving. I don't need this crap. I am not an actor. And I never will be. I'm a very complex person. Who has lots of passionates. And I don't need you. Officer. I don't need anybody. I can do my own thing. I'm going to be a used car salesman. I'm going to do all sorts of normal purple things. All right, come I'm with gonna me. I'm going to do aluminum sheeting on housing. You're not going to tell me what to do. Right, come on. You're going to get out of here. Come on. And I never want to see your face around here again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. Did he say passionates? Passionates.